Lack of service delivery has real victims. Some unfortunately pay with their lives. In Marikana, Pretoria, six children have died as a result of illegal electricity connections. In the absence of basic services like electricity, the community has had to resort to desperate measures. Every month, every month, every month, every month, every month, every month, every some of them, you can't blame them, I've no choice. As state institutions shift the blame, special assignment asks who must account for communities dying as a result of non-service delivery. Here in the informal settlement of Marikana in Soshangove, Pretoria, unemployment is rife. Basic services like electricity and water are hard to come by. After years of empty promises of service delivery by ESCOM and Tswane municipality, some community members, like many others in the country, have resorted to illegal electrical connections, making the area an exposed and dangerous tangle of high-voltage wires. In January this year, eight-year-old Riha Khetswesianejo woke up early, went outside to play with friends. The eight-year-old had been electrocuted by an illegal electrical connection. So hence However, it was too late for him. The mother struggles to accept that her child is gone. Like a corner, a girl with a good look at a wall, one beat, mama, and then a good one can have a victory. Two eggs, I will not like one of you all. I shot down, I have one. 
Barely a week after this death, tragedy struck another family less than a kilometer away. This time, it was the family of five-year-old Umpi Lemutao. Immediately, Frantic, she took action. The family says they're surrounded by Umpile's memories and struggled to heal. Mm. With so many good deals at the tops at Spa Subfest, you'll find any reason to celebrate. Buy two six-packs of Hansa Pilsner 330ml handies for only $109.99. Only at the tops at Spa Subfest. Not for persons under the age of 18. Get the facts first. In 1994, I think it was a very excited For South Africa, art was never a good thing. From a footballing point of view, there was never a separation. Get to the truth. There's still some serious issues in South Africa. But I think the government can rest of all to be here to make it away from the apartheid in South Africa. The only thing that's going to be democracy, but you're not going to be able to see what it all really means. I can feel, and that is the clear and the forgiveness of the future. I still give South Africa hate. We are 
somewhere in between. We're giving our democracy a green for sure. We're very happy. <laughs> democracy Gate, weekdays at 5.30 on SABC News, Channel 404. Complicated cases. Shubile. Your black friends might be running this country, but I'm still the government on Bataruk. Hmm. The poor child. This kid was electrocuted by your fans. Sorry, it's his own fault. I put it to you that you have a personal interest in this case. Under Section 300 of the Criminal Procedures Act 51 of 1977. I urge the court to find in favor of the plaintiff. The court finds the accused guilty. Dedicated lawyers dig to the bottom and everyone gets peace. It's a pleasing judgment and it's just Justice for All on SABC Anko, DSTV Channel 156. Twenty-four years into our democracy, people in informal settlements such as Marikana have not seen the fruits of this freedom. It's their children who bear the brunt of activities by community members who resort to deadly measures to get electricity. Since after leaving, can I anger? Empty too much. And towards Lavana. Make us not anger in. And then you want about ten years, as Bonnyak. When I anger in, chin chin chin, because I'm a better than about two months in. Lucas Kuru. To make matters worse, they have to face those responsible for the deaths of their children. Most we ever talk about connecting. Some families, however, count themselves lucky as their children narrowly escaped death after being electrocuted by illegal connections. This woman says she lives in constant fear after her son stepped on an exposed wire in April this year. The six-year-old remembers very little of the incident. Now she has to constantly monitor his whereabouts. Having access to electricity allows families to watch television, use a fridge, and have lights. It makes life easier, although sometimes it's at the expense of human life. People in Marikana acknowledge this, such as this woman who is afraid of being identified. <laughs> So you know that we saw the corner of the year, corner like a mago for safety. Avana, but I think so. Somebody asked me, it should be. She explains how the system works. Ever connect tell runs a thousand every month runs a five hundred. In a motor thing, I remit just to buy you so no way in a whole. But I'm going to say that I'm going to get an eye on way in a motor. She's well aware of the dangers this poses to her children. Marikana has about 10,000 shacks. More than half of these homes use electricity illegally. It's a lucrative business. Many illegal connectors are determined to continue despite the risks. 
This man wires up connections illegally for the community. He works as an electrician and charges a service fee to connect. Most of the time, I used to tell people with the guys, not just they learning, how about can I get a little bit of a hapala or connect her? That's just how it was in Billy. And then, how he is Laura Gassin Billy, Nagina Shilta is really. Or a good one, Tavani. I could not have a mind when the Munti illegal connection into Ling one hundred and fifty. So, my interest is entertaining. I'm telling you, I'm not one to five hundred. He says he's aware of the risks of imprisonment. Even if you know about when you're not going to connect, you are connected. You are connected like because by it, you are not connected to go. I keep preferring of a telephone number that I prefer who are not going to or or go or I mean, but what about the good man? No, when I hold a good normal get okay, you can live with Thomas or so on your guard with a one to three. I can come and do it as long as you are not that I'm protected under you get protected. He claims that none of his work has resulted in the death of children. You would talk about talk about talk about. I mean, ah, now according to as how we got to protect, according to the site, site they're learning in our religion, so maybe we can we can feel like as long as we go certain thing, but site they're really moyana. I don't remember about one or two key or two more or two key or man or woman. I understand, but yes, you know, it's in your head. You might be thinking me. He says he has contacts to sell him material from state agencies. material we can go to that person so 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 so. While painting the nursery and worrying about childcare, Lauren has an epiphany. Her medical aid offers a maternity benefit and 24 7 baby line to talk her through those new parent panic moments. Bring on that mini me! That's real medical aid. Exciting, isn't it? A royal welcome, please, for a regal southern songstress, Yvonne Chaka Chaka. When everybody wanted to be docs, doctors and nurses, I stood up and I said I want to be white. Oh. The late Joe Slovo called me the Jewish Zulu. I think it's very sad these days, or, I mean, for a long while, that a lot of women blame this on the guys, because this is a plot by the women against the women. We are socialists. Yes, sure, sure. All of us. Be intrigued by hitting topics on the couch with people of the South and stay cultivated as they grace you with cultural entertainment at its level best on stage. Make a date with Dali Tambo as he profiles everyone from all walks of life on SABC Anchor, DSTV Channel 156. Community members in Marikana are desperate to end the deaths of children in their area. Manja Tema is co-chair of the F4 Crisis Committee that was formed to deal with service delivery issues. Why are you so concerned um, about Indonesian It is our responsibility, especially we cite the government. Children have, a, have the right to play, have a right to a free and safe environment. So I think we are infringing that somehow, young, young Tony. He says their efforts thus far have been unfruitful. He answer as he told us, says like, today you so totally answer your good, I mean, there is zero budget for this year. I'll give you an example. We are 40 after two, three weeks, we told a different story. No, everything is sorted in the electricity. While we were at one of their gatherings, they attempted to set up a meeting with their councillors and ESCOM to find a way forward. 
The subscriber you have dialed is not available at the moment. Hello. Hello. Papa. Le volela le mandla chepesen ya mo e for crisis committee. Hello. Eh, I can sing to the fellas and I can go tell her set up a meeting. We go escort mo. Little ile mo, evela le ta. Larvule la diary, lar le thing. And then ka a day before la cancel. Oh, eh, wait. Let na kis kis tan tan ki he maybe dem a badi le kina le nta to la go escort mo. Ule o tampa le ta di tamwe next week. You got matter di a okay. The promised meeting never materialized. The committee finds itself frustrated at the lack of progress. We are going to imagine, like for instance, Nazi in Tambus has born. But it's going to be a very good thing. It's going to be a very good thing. The community has been told that one of the challenges stopping non-delivery of services to the area is uncertainty about who owns the land. Louis Ratete is from the Kekane Royal Council. He says the land belongs to them. Ungai leta i project la wa wa inzamu sevinzo wa kumara ungai yangu imshati wa kulimisha na nabo unewuti before yote kala msevinzo wa kwa ungai yangu na sekot goba ungeni ndani ya abo uzango ukulimisha na nabo and then zote la guti aguna la nista ina kwa na for agreement ya gutu wa na gulungi le i zauzo inzali ndolo funa gui inza ndani ya so ngaya government wa ya gope wa ya gope we need e e signature ya ya niggas wenda uti sivumelelane na lo muntu uti alete into so aletele e community but the city of Tswane claims the land is owned by the state it seems this community is caught between various arms of the state failing to take responsibility local police say it's the responsibility of the Tswane metro police department to bring those responsible to book but Twine denied this responsibility and we were sent to the provincial police, who then referred us back to the Twine Metro Police Department. ESCOM claimed it couldn't get involved because the area is supplied by the city of Twine, something the city denies. Marikana is part of, a, of an area uh, called Twying. And Twying is an Eskom supplied area for electricity. Uh, it's Eskom supplied because when the original city of Twani was formed, there were certain areas that had been part of Northwest Province. And Eskom was the electricity supplier to residents in Northwest Province. And they have continued to service those areas mostly in the north of the city. The city has a major issue in terms of electricity theft. We lose approximately a billion rands worth of electricity in, in, in theft every year. And we have ongoing operations together with our Metro Police, with, with SAPS um, and with our electricity department to disconnect those illegal connections he says community members who set up the illegal connections need to be brought to book and the city cannot be blamed for fatalities. I don't believe the city bears responsibility. The people who bear responsibility are the criminals who make the connections, um, who make unsafe connections uh, and leave cables lying around where children play. Um, and it's criminal activity that leads to these deaths and injuries and, and tragedies. Obviously, la ma family is lava uto logo tu muntu ya tonsa illegal. Some of them you can't blame them. Have no choice. Like for instance, gune isinjo ngu tu gune ingani. They need electricity to survive. You cannot blame them for doing such things. 
because I mean, finally, we survive. Like especially during winter, young tall, taller than Enga, and we put a mask on for young Kaba in two to in. So people need electricity, and electricity is not a luxury. It's something that should should be provided. It's a basic need for each and every uh, a citizen, Limezans, young taller. Water, electricity, and sanitation should be prioritized. That's what we are striving for. Despite having lost her child through illegal connections, Imelda cannot live without electricity. At the funeral, I was <laughs> able to get a lot of money. I was <laughs> able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of money. I was able to get a lot of four months. I was able to get a lot of money. But for other bereaved families, having an illegal electricity connection will never be an option. The memories are just too painful.